Hi everyone, it's Coach Stefan Rudolph from RecoveredCoaching.com coming to you from beautiful Valley Center, California out here on a lovely Sunday getting a hike in, uh, seeing the beautiful weather and this is up in Northeast County, San Diego about an hour northeast of San Diego itself up here in the mountains it's called uh, the farthest part of San Diego County and loving it and living the dream here used to live up here, grew up in Escondido coming to you from my program of Recovered Coaching where I help out with people with addiction, um, overcoming escapism, overcoming alcohol, drugs, any type of gambling, escape, problems that they've had in their life. I've also done a lot of public speaking recently in the past couple years at schools. So this message is going out to the school systems itself for the principals, assistant principals, um, teachers, students themselves, letting you know about my story of overcoming obstacles and being a published author and also coming out with a book now called Thank You to the 1000th Power. Working on that right now to be published here in a few months and getting that out to let everybody know with an attitude of gratitude that you must be thankful in life and be grateful in life for everything that we have and everything that we've been through and grown through. So this especially with going on with COVID and the depression, anxiety, stress and the students themselves, teenagers, young adults, people in general that are looking for a new way in life, a new path in life to start over. My program itself has helped people with epilepsy, especially check out the website. There'll be links below on the video. Epilepsycoaching.com is my story. Recoveredcoaching.com is the information for the coaching and speaking program itself. And letting people know, especially about when they're escaping in life, when they're stressed in life, anxiety, uh, letting them know about meditation, what I went through with relieving the stress, also change in diet, a health plan that I developed to help me come overcome epilepsy holistically. I had brain surgery in 2007 from a football injury back in high school that later escalated into massive epilepsy and seizures, epileptic car accidents, and all kinds of problems in my life. And even after brain surgery didn't work in 2007, I went down more of a meditation, uh, changing my diet, sobriety, a number of things in what I call the MAP program, meditation and manifestation awareness and attitude, prayer and positive thinking. All those areas changed my life to help me holistically cure and be off epilepsy, completely seizure free and off epilepsy medication now for eight years and then also sober for almost nine years now as well. So during this transition, a major alcohol problem and I'm telling you the story because this is what relates to the kids themselves and where my drinking escalated and started in high school and college and in those areas of social addiction to uh, partying and basically just leading the life that I thought was cool in my teens and 20s, but it never stopped. Got out of control, lost my life, lost everything, and ended up homeless at one time even. So I've been through a number of obstacles, and this story in general is very motivating. I've spoke at Temecula Valley High School online recently back in January of 2021 here, and spoke to a few hundred students and reaching out to more. Uh, the other programs I've done in the past have been at sporting events at Orange Glen High School, speaking to the football team, about my, my football injury, my concussion. I was in a coma as well in high school in my senior year from a football injury, uh, two hernia surgeries, a pulmonary embolism, three endoscopies, 20 plus years of epilepsy, two epileptic car accidents, um, alcoholism, DUIs, bankruptcy. So I'm here, I made it, I got out. Control, alt, delete, that's what I call it. Reset your mind, reset your life. I would love to speak to your schools, your classes, your students, especially in the health and wellness programs, um, anybody in nutrition and those areas that have people um, looking for motivation. And who isn't at this time right now with COVID and the situation going on? We need to come together and rise together and be working on a new power within, I call it. The inner sizing is what John, John Asaraf calls it. And working in that uh, meditation program that really helped me to understand that I need to slow down the mind, slow down the thoughts, be thankful for what is, and be thankful for what I have, be thankful for what I've been through. Again, thank you to the 1,000th power. That equals being thankful every minute of every day for 16 and two-thirds hours a day. 16 and two-thirds times 60, that 1,000. Came up with that a few years ago, didn't understand the numbers and how they correlated, but I just said I need to be thankful every minute of every day that I'm awake. And that's kind of what it connected with. So this book coming out is really going to connect people and you can you can hear some audio chapters on my channel here as well I put the chapters that I'm working on right now into audio about four chapters are on there and again I'm giving you this message to connect with the uh, staff and the school members 
Let me know how I can help out. Let me know how I can speak online and or eventually in person again would be great. But for now, just uh, speaking to those that are looking for that motivation, pretty much every student out there needs this and they can hear my story and definitely be motivated by it. So my name is Coach Stefan Rudolph. Send me an email to info at recoveredcoaching.com. You can call or text 760-215-2337 and subscribe, like, and share on the YouTube channel. And I look forward to hearing from you. Having a blessed day and a blessed life out here every day, every moment of every day and helping kids overcome this depression and anxiety that I went through even before COVID, being isolated, losing everything, not having the ability to drive to get out. So I can very much connect with people on this level and I look forward to hearing your response. Take care and have a blessed day.